Welcome to this introduction to three ways to list Lee with text list, linked list, and numbered listicles. First, let's take a look at lists and then have a look at what a list looks like on Listly. On Listly, a list is simply a name and a collection of ordered items. Here's an example scrolling through a list on Listly. So let's remember Listly is actually a crowdsourcing platform that lets you gather information and collect feedback and collect suggestions for your list. So here we have two examples, a girl's names list and a top band list. We could crowdsource both of those on Listly. One just would be fine as a text list. The other would be much more useful if we link to the band's website or to a video. So now let's make a new list just by clicking plus from the toolbar. Type in a name of our list, top girl's names. I'm going to choose it as a resource and I make a list. And that list is now there ready for me, waiting for me to type in information. So I start off by typing in Sophia, pressing enter, typing in Emily, pressing enter, typing in uh, Olivia and pressing enter. And you can see there's my list. It hasn't saved it yet. I now click save. And that saves my list for me, and that's basically quick add, where I can add multiple things at once. The other option is to use bulk import, where I can just type in or paste in uh, a number of items into here. It could be links or just text, as we're doing right now. I click import, and there I have my list. In a couple of seconds, all those items are imported, and I can scroll up and down and view my list. So I'm going to paste in the URL for Spice Girls into the field. I type and press enter. And it goes away and extracts the image, the title, and the metadata from that website for me. And I can edit any of that. And then when I'm ready, I can hit save. And I could have saved multiple bands in one go. The second example is I just click on add new, and this is where I add one item at a time. So here I paste in a YouTube video for the Supremes. I just edit out the title there just to show the Supremes name only, and I click save. So add new item is exactly the same as quick add. It's just done one at a time. So let's add one more item to this list, the Pointer Sisters. I found it on this essence.com website. I highlight the image, uh, right click and hit add to Listly. And in this instance, I didn't quite get everything right because it just depends on the way the HTML is tagged. So I can cut and paste in the information. It's remembered my list. I save it away and then I can uh, click through to that website to see and scroll through my entire list. There we go. So just to recap there, we saw adding an item, uh, which is basically adding a single item at a time. Anyone can use this interface. Anyone can add to your list using this. And you can add to a list via Listly or via an embedded list on a website. And you, for this, you get the full editing experience. Um, the other way we, we were adding content to the list was via Quick Add, where you can add multiple items at once. This is only for list owners. Um, they get the full editing experience, but they can only add to their own lists. Uh, we also saw bulk import, uh, where you can import multiple items. It's from the footer of the list uh, for list owners, again, only. And you can actually use text or URLs to paste in uh, up to 25 items at a time. And then the final way we used there was the Chrome extension, uh, where you can basically highlight some copy of a page, hit right click, and add to Listly. And it will remember the list you're adding to and save it away. And as you saw, I could customize and grab and, and cut and copy the, the content exactly that I wanted from each page. So there are the four ways you can add to Listly. Our first example there was text only, which is a great way to capture and rank ideas. You don't need to link to anything, just let people vote and suggest on your list. The second example, we looked at a linked list of girl bands. A great way to gather useful resources that people want to share. You can embed those on your website. And again, people can suggest emissions and vote. The third example is really what people call today listicles, and it's a great way of creating original content. Tips, tricks, hacks, seven ways, seven insights, three things you didn't know. These are all great ways of, of communicating as a writer. Let's quickly look at three examples of listicles on Listly. So here's the ultimate fundraising ideas list, which is a curation of um, the most valuable posts found across the web by Cure Brain Cancer. Uh, they were looking to share ideas with their audience. So um, I can just edit this item just to show you what they did. Uh, they just found this blog post on Metro 2K about stormtroopers. Uh, they found this blog post about a baseball game on Philly sports history, etc. And they carried on adding more and more to that list. The second example uh, is by uh, Taylor Sylvester. Uh, it's 40 ways to show people how much you care. 
And in this example, excluding a couple of things, you, um, the content was just typed into Listly with no link. You don't have to link to items, but um, you know, just a collection of great ideas um, to share with your audience. And the third example um, from Ruth Papazian, uh, 12 of the most important things ever happened in the Bronx. She's curated a history list of um, 12 different key landmark events that happened in the Bronx. So we've now looked at three types of lists on Listly, how to create them, how to edit them. Uh, let's have a, just a quick recap of what's involved in each list. So to recap, there's two parts to each list. There's the list, the list name, its description, and a headline image. And then every item on the list has got a title, a description, an image, and optionally a link. All of this information works together to make your list highly findable, highly reusable and shareable, and highly embeddable across websites. So that's the concept behind Listly. It's really a crowdsourcing platform that lets people contribute to create socially compelling, shareable lists. It's worth noting that when you begin with Listly, you don't need to let other people curate your content. You can just manage your own content. You don't need to ask people to crowdsource. You can create lists that are useful to you uh, and create lists that you want to use on your blog or share or just capture your research. You don't have to involve other people. The nice thing about Listly is it's there when you need it. You can grow into those features and tap into your audience and, and allow your audience to contribute to vote and to suggest content for your, for your list. So you don't have to start that way. You can just use it personally, but you have the power and scope to grow into that over time. Let's look at some of the list settings on each list. So there's always a headline image that you can add. You don't have to have a headline image. You can add or you could remove it. And you can use File Picker to uh, many options to choose images, load up URLs, use your Flickr and Instagram, etc. It's very powerful. In the list settings, uh, there's the basic settings which you're probably aware of. And then in the advanced settings, you can choose how to uh, order your list. And you can actually curate the order if you want. Uh, you can turn moderation on or off, which means items are added to the queue or not. Um, you can turn off dislikes, which is useful. Uh, and you can also uh, hide the list, make it pro if you as a premium option. And you can turn on or off the moderation queue so people can actually see what's in the list or not, or what's pending to be on the list. So those are some of the premium settings on Listly. For me, I know one of the biggest things I think that's unique about Listly is that it blends creation, curate, curation, and the ability to capture audience feedback. Um, you don't have to decide which of these things you want to do. You can do all three at once. Uh, you can just be a creator just for yourself. You can work with your audience uh, to curate, or you can capture feedback uh, from your audience. So that set of features that allows you to create lists, embed them on your blog, and share them really does uh, tackles a very challenging problem of creating audience engagement. And we think that's it's something we think about a lot. It's something we do we know we do really well, and it's a really a core cool strength of Listly.